right you guys what is up i am back with another video okay and in today's video um as you can read by the title i'm going to give you guys some do's and do nots of starting a youtube channel so if you are thinking of starting a youtube channel this video is for you if you are just starting off with youtube this video is for you as well so or if you just want to be like informed about little stuff this video is for you as well i do want to say i am not like obviously i'm at 3.6k subscribers so obviously i'm not like up there up there but i still have some knowledge that i can share with you guys so that is exactly what i'm going to be doing in this video so if you want to know some stuff then this video is for you do not click off and stay tuned for this information all right so number one numero uno number one this is important this is the this will determine your success in doing youtube if you do plan on doing youtube because it it ties in with some other some of the other things that i have listed on my phone i wrote like a whole bunch of stuff but it ties in but this is the number one okay and i'm gonna explain why so number one do not do not do not do not expect the people that you expect to support you to support you that's the number one thing right there because people think oh I got my little 10k followers on Instagram or whatever those people are gonna support me because more than likely nine out of ten of those people will not support you and that right there can really 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 discourage some people I've seen it. I've seen it happen to a couple of people who said, oh, I'm going to start YouTube, and, da, 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 and they see me have gaining a little following. They think, oh, I'm going to gain this little following too because some of her friends are supporting her. Not all of my friends supported me, by the way. So that means some of my friends are going to support me. That's not the case. A lot of people, they might repost your stuff, blah, blah, blah. This happened to me countless, countless times. I asked somebody, oh, just to just just to see you know just to kind of be petty like are you subscribed to my channel let me see they they search up my channel name call of lucy and they're not subscribing these are supposed to be my friends it's like oh you know i never had the time and blah, 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 blah. don't expect the people that you expect to support you to support you they will not support you the people the my main subscribers are people that i do not know people from all over the country you can say all over all over the world those are the people that have supported my channel from get-go i could name you a couple of people who are not from not even from here who support my channel heavy i have this guy new jersey based jared one of my biggest supporters one of my biggest supporters could donate to my channel, etc., etc. One of my biggest supporters. And he's not from here. He don't know me. He goes so hard for me. Okay, shout out to you, Jared. I know you're finna watch this video. But yeah. So keep that in mind. Once you get out that once you get that out of your head, if you if you feel like your friend supporting you is going to determine your success on YouTube, then don't don't do YouTube because that's not the case. It's not the case. Your friends are not going to help you get big on YouTube. Your followers are not going to help you get big on YouTube. You got to put content out there. And then that content that you put out there, that's going to get you your supporters, your supporters, your following, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. So, number two. This, okay. Number two is do not be inconsistent or just be consistent this is very very important i'm gonna use my channel for an example for instance i'm gonna show you guys is this you it's an app i use it's a youtube tracker app that i use it's gonna show you i have i'm i completed the uh the subs the subscriber count threshold whatever 
I completed that amount to like 300%. Like I'm way past the subscribers that I need to become monetized. I was monetized once upon a time, but that changed because YouTube's real change. I was not consistent with my content and you lose followers and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to put a clip in. I'm going to put like a little picture right here. So basically with that, it's, it's going to say like I'm about like over, I'm almost at 80%. 80% with the um, watch hours that I need but I'm like over 100% usually that's supposed to like kind of like go up together basically but because even when I reached over that 1,000 subscribers that I needed I was not uploading content and the watch hours it's it's the previous 12 months that count excuse me <clears throat> so yeah it's the previous 12 months those are the watch hours the basically the views and hours that people watch your videos on your channel for the last 12 months those are the ones that count i've been putting out content for like two three years now even though i've been putting out content for two three years now all those streams of those video games that i did a long time ago they don't count no more they don't count no more it's everything that i put out now within the, those last 12 months that are going to count which is why you have to be consistent if you want to do YouTube. You have to be consistent because think about it. It's like every the the previous twelve months. So say you start YouTube now, a year from now, those views will not count anymore. And if you want to be some, if you really want to take this serious, you want this as a a career. Do you want this to be your profession? Whatever. You have to be consistent. You have to put videos out there. You really have to grind. Like, I'm going to show you guys. I'm almost there, but I'm not quite there yet. But I will get there. But, yes, you have to be consistent. You cannot put out a video every other month. Like, it's just not going to work out. Unless those videos that you put out every other month, it's so great. You're getting millions of views on them. Then, hey, that's awesome. Good for you. But it will not work out if you're not consistent. So that's number two. Now, numero two. All right. So this is very important. This is very, 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 very important. In starting any profession, this is number three. In starting any profession, like say, I'm going to say not profession, but more so like on the business, starting your own business, starting your own brand kind of thing. It's smart for you to read read informational books uh google online google questions online um do your research so what i put for number three is do watch informative youtube videos because i watch so many youtube videos and they help me so much you learn a lot um i'm gonna i'm gonna create something i probably i'm gonna find like three videos for you guys to watch and i'll link it in the description the videos that i think are very helpful for beginners i have one in mind is this girl she's really really good i love 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 i love her videos but she gives out um she puts out very informational videos on people who want to do youtube whatever so i'll link down one of her videos and you know you guys can watch those videos and learn from those videos as well it's always it's always good to learn learn how to edit learn how to um um put certain Put certain like aspects and different things in your videos before you upload them that's very important and yeah so that's number three number four okay number four is do what you want do not follow others just because they're getting a lot of a lot of views do what comes natural for you do what you're good at and that also ties in with consistency because if you're actually doing something that you like, then that's more likely to cause you to be consistent with your videos. If you're somebody who likes, you want to put out videos of you drawing or something of your art or whatever, you could do one of those little time lapse videos. Don't try to get into a freaking I don't know video game making behind the scenes I don't know I'm just making anything up off the top of the head don't get into something that you do not like because you are not going to be consistent with that bro just because you see oh well this person he's putting out these videos PewDiePie he's putting out these amazing gaming videos let me go ahead and try to do that but 
problem is you're you're a shy person. You don't like to talk. You don't even like video games. How you don't even know how to play video games? Those videos more than likely will not do good. If for some reason, because YouTube has its weird ways, but if for some reason that you do blow up off of something that you don't even like, and then kudos to you. But a lot of content creators, their success is because they're doing things that they actually like doing. And you hear that a lot even with like people's um, jobs, like their nine to five jobs. A lot of people say, oh, don't go to school just because, oh, don't go to school to become a doctor just because it's a lot of money. Do become a doctor only if you really want to become a doctor. Don't become a doctor the whole time you want to become a freaking musician. You're going to be miserable. You're going to be miserable. You're going to be forcing yourself. It's not going to be, like, your viewers probably won't be intrigued because it's not something that's, like, you don't seem like you're doing it naturally. Like, do your own thing. And, yeah. And if people that people are going to fuck with that to be honest that's how you build your following once your following sees oh i like this person she really loves what she do she's giving out this great content blah 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 i like that you know i want to subscribe to her i want to follow her i want to know when she's going to upload her next video and yeah do your own thing okay don't follow nobody be you period all right <clears throat> so Number five, it ties in, um, I mentioned this in number four, I mentioned this, if you're paying attention, if you're paying attention and you know, but I mentioned something about with the jobs, a lot of, like a lot of people, they go into certain jobs saying, oh, this job is going to give me a lot of money, so let me do this job, whole time they're miserable. So, and you know, the, I'm going to get into the, the rest of that later, but Number five is do not do YouTube because you want some money. Okay, don't do YouTube with the mindset of I want money because if that's the case, more than likely it's not gonna work out. I look at YouTube again, sometimes it don't work out that way. Sometimes somebody put out one video, they blow up, but. I view YouTube as a long-term investment. It's like, it's like stocks. Stocks, you probably invest uh, what a hundred dollars into something. That a hundred dollars don't blow up until a couple of years. You let you put that hundred dollars in, you, and then sometime later you put that you put fifty dollars in, and then a, a seventy-five dollar, whatever, and then eventually all of that grows. It 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 builds up to something great. Eventually that 100 now it's 10,000 10 grand or whatever That's how I view YouTube like you it's Who can who's a good example? I say I will say like probably somebody like mr. Beast or SS sniper wolf people like that They put time into YouTube People like that. I'm, I'm not too sure of the specifics, but people like that they didn't blow up overnight They invested into YouTube. they took their time they actually put out content because they they enjoyed it and then in the long run they were given a lot of benefits and that's that's just how things are you cannot go into certain things with the mindset of i want to make money no go do it because you like it and then use your brain to figure some shit out like in the meantime why are you doing youtube Find a job or something. Work a job. Work a job. Use that job. Wait, I'm, I'm getting into this next reason. Hold on. I'm not going to say too much. I'm not going to say too much. But do not go into YouTube with the mindset of I want to make money. Do YouTube because you see it's something that you like and you just really want to put content out there. You feel like you have these amazing ideas and you want to share that with the world. Then all right. But cool. But don't go in there saying, oh, I'm going to be like, the and Ken, I'm going to make me a fortune overnight. No, they didn't do it overnight. They grind. They grinded, okay? And that's why they're in the place that they're in now. Anywho. <sighs> Alright, number five. This is my last reason, alright? It's my last reason. Number five is don't be scared to invest. Okay, 
if YouTube is something that you really, 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 really wholeheartedly, 100% you in it, you want to do this, you see this, you're like, ooh, 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 I want to do this, then do it, okay? I honestly feel like everyone has something amazing to put out there. A lot of people, like, they're gifted, they're good at something, and someone wants to see that. Someone wants to see that, so put that out there. Don't be scared to invest. Invest in that camera. Invest in a in a in a better iPhone. In that iPhone 11, if you have it. I'm not saying, oh, spend all your money. No, if you if you have it and you feel like it's not gonna hurt you and you have you have means to replace that money or you can buy certain stuff twice. And like I said, if this is something that you really want to do, that like you're 100% sure, confident. This is what I want to do. Then invest in yourself, okay? Invest in those. Invest in those cool ideas that you have. That cool content that you want to put out there. Invest in that. Buy that. Buy the buy the slime ingredients of the cool slime that you want to make for YouTube. Buy the food ingredients for the food that you want to show people how to cook. Buy that. Buy that camera that you like buy that invest in yourself and that's what anything really that is what anything a lot of people they want to do things but they're i don't know a lot of people are scared to spend money but the point of spending money is to make money you want to you want to become successful at something money comes with success so you have to invest in yourself invest in yourself invest your money to make money period and that concludes this video I hope you guys were taking notes um I also want to give you guys uh, some some tools that I use for YouTube uh, these tools are very cool these little apps that you can purchase download on your phone it's all on your phone and yeah I'm gonna put like the link I'm gonna link those apps in the description so you guys can have them they're like little YouTube trackers and stuff that I use um, little they have one of the apps has this tool so that you can see like <laughs> excuse me you can see like what tags people are using in their videos um, it's a whole bunch of stuff that's why I'm gonna, like I said previously earlier on this in this video, I said I was going to um, link in the description some videos that I think are very uh, informational, very videos that could really benefit you if you watch it, take the time out to watch it, or whatever. It's always good to learn some things before you really dive into it, or whatever. But nonetheless. Thank you guys for tapping in. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.